Hi, and thanks for joining us. In the last few videos, we drove through seven countries in seven days. It was at times long and frustrating, and we even lost our drone. But now we're finally back on familiar ground. That's right, we're happy to be back in Mexico. In this video, we arrive in the long anticipated town of San Miguel de Allende to see if it's a town we'd consider for retirement. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. Hey guys and welcome to San Miguel de Alente. We arrived yesterday evening and we wanted to go for a nice walk at night. Apparently night walks are very cool over here but it just started pouring rain like crazy and thunder. So it's almost lunch time. It's time for us to head out and go explore. So the campground over here is $20 a night. It's a little bit expensive when you're used to paying like $14 a day kind of thing. But that's because of this destination. Apparently, it, there's a lot of expats that moved here. Uh, well, very touristy. There's a couple campgrounds around this area. I think it was like three or four. But they're all about the same price. 400 to 450 pesos. Ours is 400 pesos. And we chose this one because it's the only one that's walkable to town. All the other ones were anywhere between three to six miles walking distance. So that makes it a long day if you want to walk there and come back and explore the town. So this one, very central. However, driving in with your RV or your camper van could be a little bit complicated because the streets are narrow and there's cars parked on the shoulder. So it makes it a little bit more complicated. And it was also hard to get into the campground because it's a sharp right turn. So I'm anxious to go check out the city, see what it has to offer. The temperatures are pretty cool. During the day, it's really hot. At night, it cools off. So I kind of like that. So yeah, let's go. Let's get walking. We're in beautiful San Miguel de Allende, and this is actually a cultural center, if you could believe it. I don't know about you, but the cultural centers back home do not look like this. They don't look like these beautiful colonial courtyards. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? San Miguel de Allende is located in the colonial highlands region. It's about four hours drive northwest of Mexico City. It has many benefits, including a temperate climate, an active expat community, welcoming locals, charming local cultural traditions, and a focus on the arts. Its historical center is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's mandated that homes, churches, civic structures, businesses, just about every original structure, retain its historic original appearance. Narrow streets, cobblestone or flagstone are lined with homes in shades of yellow, red and orange. It might be tough to drive a car here, but certainly a pleasant place to take a long walk, exploring the architectural splendor that includes grand homes and imposing wooden doors, churches with carved archways, depicting religious scenes and more. So, it's 8 o'clock, and it's not dark yet. It's kind of cool. But anyway, sundown's going to be in about 10 minutes, and we're heading again to city center because apparently, the guy doesn't want to move. Hey, shh. And apparently, it's really cool with the lights. So let's go check it out. Hi. 
talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Thanks to its beauty and peaceful atmosphere, along with all the other benefits, San Miguel is certainly no stranger to expat. They make up about 10% of the 140,000 residents in the metro area. These days, the population swells during the North American winter, when Canadian, American, and European snowbirds flock to town for the great climate. Because it's in the high Sierra, the air is crisp and clean, and the climate is temperate year-round, staying in the 70s most of the days and cooling down at night to the 50s. And I was right, this is the Disney World of Mexico. Only in January and February you will experience colder months, with comfortable days and dips close to freezing on the coldest nights. Today it has a thriving art scene with live theater, lectures, book clubs, live music, foreign and independent film theaters. Whether you're a participant or a spectator, it's a great scene for art lovers. There are also great restaurants. The large expat population means you can find everything from street tacos for about 75 cents and simple meals in local restaurants for a couple of bucks to cuisine from around the world, including Italian, sushi, vegetarian, as well as gourmet options. Hey, good morning guys. Wednesday today. Today we go. We leave. We leave San Miguel de Alante. Really fun, beautiful city. My opinion of San Miguel de Alante is you gotta do it at least once. It's beautiful, it's nice, it's super clean. It's very, very touristy. Uh, everywhere you go, it's English. So, walking through the streets and seeing the big churches and the statues and everything kind of reminded us of Disney World. You know, if you've been to Disney World, they have different sections. And uh, well, yeah, it gave me that feeling that I was in Mexico section of Disney World, you know. Uh, everybody talks English over here, everybody. Uh, I'd say most people for sure, like cabs, cab drivers, uh, uh, restaurants, even the signs are in English, menus are in English. There's a lot of English over here. Huge expat community. I think uh, a lot of people just moved here, a lot of people with money, because it's very expensive. You could find cheaper restaurants, but you really have to search for them, right? We were exchanging me and Mana yesterday, comparing this spot to San Cristobal. And San Cristobal is a little bit different, you know, it's still an expat, there's a lot of expat there, but it's really, really cheap. And finding a deal is not hard. I mean, when we were shopping there or going to eat out, we never even looked at prices because it's just cheap. Well, here, you know, we bought a meal uh, it was about five, six dollars, and I mean, we, we were shopping, we were looking, we went to at least three different spots. And every price that we see was 12 to 14 to 15 dollars, right? So that is very expensive Mexico standard. I mean, at least we're not used to it anymore, right? Traveling down south, we found a lot of nice jams and they were easy to come by. Where here, every restaurant we, we went, you looked at the menu and it, it was steep. It was steep. Uh, but 
nonetheless beautiful town loved walking around loved exploring you know every turn you see is beautiful the streets were nice the lights the night walk was awesome really enjoyed the night walk day walk was also cool very busy full of people everywhere uh yeah it's a great spot i would not move here however i would not retire over here just because the cost of living is very expensive san cristobal is still my number one place uh, because you know very affordable and it, i think the reason why it's very affordable is most people that are there i would say are traveling by backpackers you know i'm not sure anyway that's just an assumption it is also further down where this one were maybe 12 hours away from the border and the other one were four or five hours away from guatemala so maybe that's why it's much cheaper and less people don't don't tend to go that far into mexico unless they're you know keep going down to guatemala but yeah nonetheless uh, uh, san miguel de alente is a great great city to visit if you're nearby definitely come and see it i'm sure you're going to enjoy it and if you're expecting the authentic mexico vibe over here well i don't think you're gonna get it you might get it i didn't get it i still say come and check it out and for us well that's gonna be it we're gonna close up shop and we're gonna head to a different spot campground like i mentioned 20 dollars full service you got dumping you got electric got Wi-Fi if you want Wi-Fi I really recommend going closer to the house because where we were yeah you get more privacy but the Wi-Fi wasn't really touching so that wasn't so good and also another thing to remember it's very dusty here uh, they have tennis courts on this side and in back of me as well and it's clay dirt i don't know how you call that the, the the courts i'm not sure what they use i'm not a tennis player so when there's wind it gets dusty but there's a little bit of shade not too much the private spots are the two last ones gives you a little bit more privacy i find and uh, yeah bathrooms are really really clean they're mixed so that's a good thing and they only have one shower that's hot water and it works with the solar so it is hot water i can't complain i never never it was never cold for me so can't complain about that one but yeah twenty dollars and uh stay here two days forty dollars and it's time to go so with this we're gonna close this one right here i hope this video was informative i hope you got everything you needed from it if you did please give us a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one